Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead today talking about the check rain jello break. The check rain right now has been officially updated to 0.10.1. So it's uh, the new beta has been already released, and I'm about to show you guys how you can jello break your iPhone if you already own an uh, iPhone 5s up to iPhone X, and you want to jello break with the new release of uh, check rain jello break this is will be support even the new version and i'm talking here about the 13.4 up to 13.4.1 so if you want to jello break that video will be for you before i'm going to be uh, showing you or go on the tutorial to showing you how you jello break your device i just want to talking about if you want to jello break your device and you have a mac os the link will be in the description if you want to jello break your device and this is the mac version here all which you need to do just stop on the check ring 0.10.1 this is where we allow you to download the IPA file and go ahead and jailbreak your device. There is a bunch of videos if you don't know how to do that. There is a lot of videos. Um, uh, I already make a video to show you guys how you can jailbreak with Mac uh, system. If you want, I will be linked that in the description. Also, you will be find that in the cards in the video in the top here. If you want to click and learn how you can do that. And for those who own the Windows, that video for the Windows user. So I'm about to show you guys how you can download the check rain and how you can do that. But before that, let me just talking about some issue that the look at the disco, which is the developer behind that jello break. What did he fix? And there is a lot of a major issue he already fixed. One of the support will be for the A7 devices and some other stuff that he already worked on it, which is really appreciated for all the work that you do. And even for every single person who worked behind the scene to make that happen. So one of the things talking here about the adding support and you can see right now here that the adding support for the 13.4 and the 13.4.1 support will be added in some other issue and bug which is a look at this go and his team working on that. Okay, so if you want to jailbreak your device and you own a Windows operating system, you want to jailbreak if you have a iPhone starting from the 5S, as I say, up to iPhone X, that jailbreak starting from the 12.3 up to iOS 13.4.1. So let's go ahead right now and talking about the check next. I already make a video before with the older version and today once the check rain has been already updated right now, the developer behind the check next already he update that version as well. I seen a lot of videos talking about how you can chill a break with boot rain, but for me, my opinion, I mean, Checknix is more uh, stable and it's more not that much complicated like boot rain. Checknix, uh, I don't know if you guys see my uh, videos before with Checknix. I mean, it is. Uh, too simple and all what you need to do just uh, drag that file in USB all what you need is just a hundred megabyte you can see right now here so all what you need is just a small flash drive once you have that flash drive is ready to go and I'm about to show you guys right now how you can do that so first of all the link will be in the description down below for the check next here you can see download iOS 1.0.4 which is the same one that i told you guys which is the 0.10.1 this is the last version of check range just go ahead right now i click on that on the bottom i don't know why but this is what i do i click to download this one in the bottom so once you click on a file that uh, download will be start right away 
once you click on it it will take you to mega file here what you need to do right now here just wait a little bit till the download pop up here go ahead and tap on the download you will be see the download bar here at the top start downloading the ipa file once that done you will be see the download will be appear here at the bottom and once done you will be find the uh, file that you download for me in my opinion any kind of file that I download I drag that right away into my desktop so it's easy for me to find that file the second thing that you need to download which is the banana etcher and link will be for that software will be in the description down below it's pretty easy to install what you need to do right now just run that as administrator here and once you click on it you will be see the software will be running so once the software is running you select the image here if you click on it of course you need to go to desktop and this is the file that I already download so you need to click on it and click on open I already did that and here you have to select the target so let me show you guys how is that will be work if I do that so select the target which will be the flash drive that you have so as I told you guys you need a small flash drive you don't need to care about a big one no it's just a hundred a hundred and something megabyte this is all that we have for that file select the target will be the flash drive and then just go ahead and click on a flash this is will be burn all the fire inside the usb flash drive once you done click that window and you need to go in right now hitting and just restart your computer so once you restart your computer you need to go ahead right now you need to know exactly which key will be take you into your bios if you don't know it's pretty simple just go ahead and google that and you will be know exactly which key you need to use in order to go into your bios for me i'm gonna be press on my f12 in order to go into my bios so let's go ahead right now and jump to restart my computer and I will be back to you guys. So I'm pressing right now on my F12 and then you can take a look that my USB it's already appear. This is all what you need to do just choose your USB press on enter and just wait. So you might see how easy and simple is that it was a like boot train uh, with boot train you need to download and you need to uh, go in different kind of process and then you need to add a username and password but with check next it's simple as that so you need to go ahead right now and plug your device by the USB cable in my case here I bring my iPhone 6 to show you guys right now how you can jailbreak using the new version of the check ring right now so I have my USB cable it's ready to go all what you need to do right now just click to uh, see the uh, phone it's already appear here what you need to do right now just tap on trust to go ahead and put your device in the DFU mode before that you need to go ahead right now using your arrow key and just go ahead and tap on start and next and right now the step after you tap on next is to put your device on the DFU mode so let's go ahead right now and just wait a little bit so what you need to do right now just follow up all those steps here so in my case I have the iPhone 6 so if you own the iPhone 5s uh, the iPhone 6 will be the same process if you own the iPhone 7 iPhone 8 will be different kind of process and iPhone 6 will be different kind of uh, process all what you need to do once you plug your device by the USB cable follow up the instruction here and you will be good to go my case here as I told you guys iPhone 6 so I'm about to hold the both the power and the home button 
Then after that four seconds, I'm gonna leave the power button and keep holding the home button until I see the jailbreak or the booting will be start right away. So let's go ahead right now and tap on enter and hold the both at the same time. There you go, start. Leaving the home button, uh, I'm sorry, leaving the power button and keep holding the home button here. And just leave the uh, the device right now. You can see it says booting, and then you can see the check ran right now. It's on my eye device. Just waiting a little bit until you see it says done. You need to make sure once the Apple logo will be disappeared from your device at that time you disconnect your device. You can take a look right now here it says all done and done here at the bottom. So just wait a little bit don't disconnect your cable yet. Once the device will be uh, the background will be appear right now you good to go you can unplug your device. Let's go ahead right now and see if you already have the check rain here. If the application didn't appear, you need to just wait a little bit until the process or the application will be pop up in your device. You can take a look that I already disconnect my cable. You can see right now that the check rain appear on my iDevice. Go ahead right now and tap on it. You need to make sure you have your Wi-Fi connection. It's on the phone. Go ahead right now and tap to download or install the Cydia. Go ahead and tap on that. Let's just wait a little bit. You can see right now that we have the both the checkering application and the Cydia. If we go ahead right now and launch Cydia and wait just a little bit until we download everything and we download the home page of Cydia. There you go. Right now, it's everything. It's loading, and this is the uh, home page of Cydia. Right now, you can see the most uh, the bottom still working. Cydia is refreshing right now, and then this is how you can jailbreak your device, your older device, with Checknex. As I told you guys, Checknex it's more stable, more faster than the other videos and I'm not talking about the specific videos but more uh, simple it's more than any other uh, jailbreak if you want uh, with Windows so boot train it is good but the process is too long with check next the process it won't take that long time all what you need to do even uh, if we're talking about the flash drive, all what you need is just 100 megabyte. So this is how easy is that how you can jailbreak your older device with check crane using your Windows operating system. Anyway guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like the video, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new video. Catch you with the next one. Peace out.